Okay. Welcome everyone. Lands, Rob, Sad Panthers fan, Mamiya, Lara. Hey guys, how are we all? How are we all? Yeah, the the voice, the audio might be a little hollow today. Um, the PC room is very echoey because there's no soundproofing uh, until we kind of get it finished. So we'll kind of see how we go on here today. And uh, hopefully it'll be a little more mellow going forward. <laughs> well, hey, Casino. How's it going, mate? You all right? Kendai, Samuel, Aslak, Keith. You've been binging me this afternoon, Keith. Have you really? I hope you've enjoyed yourself, mate. Hope you've enjoyed yourself. Hey, Hogfather. I'm not too bad, mate. Thank you for asking. How is everybody else, more importantly? It's been a, it's been a while, hasn't it, since we've, we've done a little live stream. I've missed them. Hope you guys have as well. <laughs> New phone. Who dis? Hey, TC. How's it going, mate? Oh, you're watching Big User at the minute. Hope you're enjoying it. <laughs> I don't really like Big User anymore. <laughs> There's some, uh, yeah, some little things in Big User I'm not a huge fan of. But I want to come through and decorate the little... Let's come back to our daytime view here, shall we? Oh, there we go. I want to decorate this shoreline here, straighten out the metro. And also bring the train line over too. Uh, train line is here. Bring the trains through. And then we'll also do some little bits around the university as well. Bring some monorail action down. And some little bits over by the uh, outer line suburb as well. Airport when? <laughs> um, probably next episode. Probably next episode you guys get the airport. Uh, okay, let's take away all this and um, we'll do some terraforming start out the stream shall we I think it'd be rude not to right I'll have to do a little bit of terraforming somewhere might as well do it at the start hey mags how's it going mate yeah how is everyone really missed the live streams guys I hope you have as well I hope the <laughs> I hope the feeling is mutual um okay so let's find a terrain height that we're happy with I think I'll probably go with this one. This will be alright. We'll let the game play as well so the water can adjust itself accordingly. And we'll kind of see what we've got to work with. I think we'll also bring a little cycle highway alongside this metro too and feed it into Dawson Waterfront. Prepare for the flood. Yeah, right. Every time. We'll try and straighten up these river banks as well because we'll probably put some keys in here as well. Make it a little fancy. A little, uh, Sugar maple pattern as well, perhaps. Kind of see how things pan out. But yeah, hope everyone is well. If you are watching this post-stream, feel free to stick it up on a second monitor and do some detail in your own city. Okay, that'll do. And then, oh no, let's come to soften. There it is. <laughs> Canalaban prepared to evacuate? Yeah, Canalaban usually suffers the brunt, doesn't it? It seems to be okay at the minute. Oh, we need to finish this bit of Canal of an Off as well. Now we have 25 tiles, we can actually do that. We got 58 people already. Appreciate everyone turning up for a little bit of Sunday stream action. Not sure how long we'll be live for tonight, but... Appreciate everyone stopping by. <laughs> and Mod Nicole is here for the first time as Mod, everyone. Please give a warm welcome to Mod Nicole. Um, okay, so I think we'll just come through with Angle and Road Guideline forget in this metro or do we want kind of long straight pieces and then we can do some nice kind of curves and bends with each of them I think we'll try that first let's get kind of the, the straight and narrow pieces in let's come up to about there and then here and then that should be all right for right now. Tidy this up a little bit. It's about time we started working on this side of the map, I think. But yeah, um, airport's next episode, I think, guys. I think I've uh, <laughs> I've put them off for long enough, haven't I? And uh, we can't kind of make it another downtown road network episode. People will fume otherwise.
Hey Joe, first time watching the stream. Looks fun. I should hope so. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by, mate. I hope you're okay. Really appreciate the support as always. Thank you so much. Okay, and then we will bring this one up a little further, maybe. And then we'll come onto our road guard line with the free form. Let's get some nice happy curves on the game. Nothing too serious to start the stream out, I don't think. It's about time we did a live stream. We could have had two airports by now. You could have done casino. <laughs> you could have done, mate, yeah. Yeah, apologies for the little hiatus, guys. Real life has been pretty insane recently. And, uh... But we're back. We are back. Okay, so let's figure out how we want to move across here. We'll come to our angle. Can we clear it in one go? I doubt we can, can we? No. Okay, in this scenario then, I would rather adjust the road network around the metro. Let's bring it up to about there. That should be okay, I think. Yeah, four days left for Spice of the Month, isn't it, TC? That's a good shout. Yeah, if you guys haven't got your Spice of the Month in, uh, time is quickly running out, so do hurry up if you do want to enter. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, then there is a link to the Discord down in the description below. Come and join us for some fun. Terrify you delete part of the highway? Yeah, nearly. <laughs> Nearly. Okay, so this is a lot um, more aesthetically pleasing now, I think, isn't it? Especially with these kind of straighter pieces in. I think I'm happy with that. Just wondering, Egg, for the corners, why do you not use the curve tool? Just wondering. Um, no reason, really, Dylan, to be fair, mate. I just kind of prefer the look of the uh, freeform to the curve. And Casino, with a five US dollar super chat. Cheers to bringing back the old Sunday live streams. <laughs> Thank you so much, Casino. Appreciate the support, mate. And uh, I'm glad. But you're glad they're back. Thank you. <laughs> I have missed them. Need to push out a little more land here um, just to make room for the cycle highway that'll flow alongside here. Give ourselves a touch more. We won't need loads. And then I think we're going to elevate it. Just go into our smallest incline and we'll snap onto the road guy line of the metro. And then I think just one elevation step. I think like that. Oh my god, hey Ross, <laughs> or Dingoes, <laughs> I'm used to calling you, how you doing mate? Hey pro, how's it going buddy? How's it going? How is your Sunday going? Uh, Sunday's not too bad, we actually broke down in the car today, we went out into town to get some bits and uh, the car broke down, but uh, good old REC came out to fix the issue. The stream is not sponsored by RAC, if you were wondering. But uh, apart from that, yeah, it's been, been pretty quiet, pretty chilled. How about yours? How about yours? That one step will look sick. Let's see how I do the Hynix, you know. Okay. Am I crazy? Is this the Mass Effect music? Yes, it is the Mass Effect music. <laughs> Always throws someone, doesn't it? Every stream. <laughs> but why is this Mass Effect? Yes, yes it is. Yes it is. Uh, okay, let's run this straight piece first, then we can snap to that guideline. Keep everyone nice and parallel here. There we go. It's nice and symmetrical, isn't it? Love the parallelness. Thank you. Uh, we need to actually decide where we're going to bring this into Dawson Waterfront because the cycle highway is here. How ridiculous does this look if we just make a big junction, like a bridge? Are the ferries going to pass under that? Mm, they're probably not, are they? Let's have a little look. Is he going to clear it? Mm, no. <laughs> he doesn't, but... To be fair, it does that over here as well. Um, I'm pretty sure that they clip these bridges over by Canalavan. Yeah, they do. I think we can live with it. 
everyone just closes their eyes <laughs> for a hot minute here, I think we'll be okay. Okay, and then let's terraform out a little bit more for the cycle highway to continue down this side of the river. Now, allow the game to play so it can find its feet. As we all know that murky coast rivers are extremely temperamental. I'm Brazilian, I love the way you make the city. Thank you so much. Appreciate the kind words, Wallace. Greetings from England, mate. I hope all is well in your beautiful country. Hey, Jane. How are you? The, uh, the street waffle queen. Been getting showered in praise from me and Rich in the Discord today. <laughs> For Jane's constant supply of street waffles. I don't know why we haven't renamed the street waffle queen in the Discord yet, actually. I'm surprised no one's picked up on that one. Uh, okay, so we'll keep the one step running to here. That isn't parallel, is it? No, it's not. Oh yeah, because this isn't parallel. Okay, that's fine then. Let's come to road guard line initially, and then we'll come off. And then we'll start to elevate here alongside the metro. Should be okay there. And then where are we going to bring this in? Let's take this away for right now. Um, and then we'll probably bring a monorail station down here as well, because we've got the two metro stops here. Mm, okay. Let's plan this out. Let's see how this is going to fit. Let's bring the arterial down. We got 102 people watching. Welcome everyone. Appreciate everyone stopping by for some uh, some Mass Effect action. Yeah, we want the one just on the station, don't we? Can we centralise here? Mm, kind of. Kind of. Although I don't have enough room to actually bring this down. We can't come behind the school of medicine or whichever one that is. Can we cut across? Yes, we can. Fantastic. Okay, that'll do. That'll be fine. And then in preparation, we'll have a, a little bit of monorail flowing over here. Hey Max, how's it going buddy? How's it going? I wouldn't mind a snow theme build next. Yeah, we will be doing a snow city after Palavan. Once it ends. Okay, let's make a little monorail park out of this. Um, let's hook our monorail in first of all. And then we'll see how many people actually start to pick this one up as an alternative to all the metro activity that's happening down here. Let's see how this little area develops, shall we? Let's pull the stop into here. And then we'll start to decorate out with some pathways, maybe. Mineheart V with a 10 euro super chat for bringing back our Sunday entertainment. Cheers. No worries, Mineheart. Thank you so much for watching, buddy. And for being such an active little member of the Discord. Thank you. Appreciate the support, mate. Really do. And uh, I'm glad. That you're glad they're back again. <laughs> Appreciate the support, guys. Really do. I think I'm feeling farm fence. That's not farm fence, that's park fence. Let's maybe try out some. Some different shapes and sizes here in the grid. See how we get on. Bring it around here too. Mm. Okay, maybe a part life asset. Info booth maybe. Just something to flash out. Little area, touch a commercial zone as well, perhaps. Maybe a little, little two by four. 
And then maybe come through with a little bit of the Old Faithful. Just here and there, nothing. Nothing there over the top. A couple of Paladin Pines too. Uh, maybe. Just some smaller overgrowth in around all these fences. Yeah, people are picking this up as a potential option to brew now. So it's good to see. Okay, let's just kind of have a little, little look at how this is going to fit in here. Ross Hicks with a £5 super chat. <laughs> Didn't realise how much I missed that voice until now. Great to have you back. I take it you finished the work on your stream room. Uh, thank you so much for the super chat, Dingus. Appreciate the support, mate. And um, yeah, you can probably hear it in my voice. Um, the room isn't soundproofed at all. Like, there's no curtains, there's no disc plates on the wall, no canvases. Um, so yeah, like, it's painted now. I'm just waiting for the new desk to arrive um, and some shelves, and then it'll be ready. I'll definitely post a picture in the Discord when we do it. But once it's finished, anyway. But thanks for the support, mate. Appreciate it. Hope you're well. Hope all is well in Wales. And, uh, and the pugs as well. The pugs are favourites of the Discord. Okay. I think maybe paths without decorations in the middle. Yeah, okay. This is fine. Buzzing Gag, you made my Sunday. Let's hope United win. Let's hope so, Ian. They're playing at 7, aren't they? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to miss it. I'm going to miss it. We've also got some modulated transport spice here now as well, with the uh, the monorail passing over the metro. I think that's alright, isn't it? Let's get a little shot here. Hmm. Yeah, happy with that. Okay, let's continue with the cycle path here. See if anyone actually picks this up, because this is like a fair old distance for people to actually cycle, so we'll see if we are just wasting our time. Okay, and then this will separate now from the metro, won't it? Let's bring it up to this one. That curve isn't the smoothest. Let's try that again. There we go. That's a little nicer. We've missed your egg. What a brilliant city. Thank you so much, Ian. Yeah. One wavering support is really appreciated. I hope everyone else has been well. The world, especially if you're in the UK, is a very unusual place at the moment with lockdown. Hopefully coming towards the end, but everyone's kind of suffering in different ways with COVID, right? But hopefully the streams can provide a little bit of... Um, a little bit of normality for everyone, I hope. Let's our straight road tool here. We'll keep it elevated all the way. Okay, and then let's just give it a really rough and ready connection on the other side, and we'll see if anyone picks it up. Let's just like drag it over here for right now, and then down here. Cool. And I think just to help encourage them, let us upgrade some of the roads into cycleways. Down into the metro hubs around this area. And we'll see if anyone picks that up as a potential option. <laughs> Obviously not final, we'll tidy that up, but you know, we'll see if anyone likes it. And then I'm on over here as well. Yeah, if you guys are in the Discord, uh, Mod Nicole is doing an excellent job of modding. <laughs> you can uh, come and join us for some fun in the Discord if you're not in there already. Okay, so come on people, let's, uh, let's not let me down. Let's not waste the first 20 minutes of the stream. <laughs> Please work. People over here. I mean, I guess they, they are right by the metro here. There'd be no reason for them to pick it up. But we could feed a connection into Canalavan. That might give it a little more reason. Because the cycle highway is here, isn't it? You can easily branch off and throw a connection in. Let's do that. Let's just do a little bit of testing. 
see if that encourages people to pick it up further. There's a cycle plus pedestrian path on the workshop. Yeah, I've used that one before. I've used that one before. Have you changed the mining town to Gwalaban yet? No, I haven't. I haven't. Let's go and do it. <laughs> this is what the live streams are for, isn't it? So you guys can remind me to actually change the names that I ask you for. Let's pick that little district. Move it into here. And then let's do it now. So how are we spelling it? Where's the comment? Gravelin. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Look at this part life cheese now. Fantastic. Oh, we haven't even turned this into a part life cheese, have we? No, this is still open. We, we could cheese this. How much is the IT cluster part when we did last episode making now? Um, it's here, isn't it? Near enough four grand. I also noticed I was looking at this the other day. And considering how busy this little public transport hub is, there's not a single person driving. Have you guys noticed that? Everyone is taking public transport. That's such like good vibes. I'm very happy with that. Okay, so how are we feeling about this? Is anyone picking up my cycle highway yet? I guess it's once we feed this into the hillside suburb as well, it will have a little more purpose. Oh yes. Yes, it is. Fantastic. Rosemary Jackson. Good old Rosemary. She's going to the Edison Hypercharger as well. Going for a little bit of car park spice. <laughs> Okay. Here we go. What's your FPS? Uh, depends where we are in the city. Depends where we are. Do you run out of trees? Um, we haven't yet, but if we do, we will just install the unlimited tree mod. Very nice. Okay. Okay. So, the AI will pick it up as a potential option. That is good news. Let's now install some keys where we can. Um, we'll snap to the road guideline of the cycle path. And again, we'll, we'll do all our straight edges first. Let's cut away a little bit of this land and bring a touch of this out. Okay, let's bring these two together. Yep, terraform here. Push that shoreline in back a little. First time visiting the stream after your beginning video for 2020. Any advice on fixing traffic issues? Um, yeah, you usually just kind of see where they're going. Vast majority of the time, it's usually industrial traffic trying to get to an industrial area, and it's forcing its way through residential and commercial stuff. Um, so just give them an alternative connection. You can kind of see how I did that in the live stream after the tutorial video. How we provided like a second little highway junction for the industrial area. Uh, other than that, uh, Biffa Plays Indie Games also has some excellent traffic fixing series. Uh, we can probably pick up some tips there. Can we just appreciate how easy these keys are going in, by the way? <laughs> when does this ever happen? Welcome to Sunday stream, everyone. There we go. Salam alaikum, Jafar. How's it going, brother? Okay, and then let's tidy up. Okay. Is this actually a live stream? It is, Josh. It is. But hope we'll be back on a more consistent basis now. Okay. And then I think we'll probably bring the key up to where the metro goes underground. I think that'll be a sensible place to end it. And then here. Okay, that'll be fine. And how are we looking? 
Greetings, first time on a live stream. Well, we've got a lot of um, live stream noobs today. Welcome on Holy Grail. Thank you for stopping by, mate. I hope you're well. You've got 155 people in. Welcome, everyone. Okay, so let's discuss a spice template for our little... Oh, yeah, people are picking up the cycle path now. Yes, please. Yeah, okay, it was worth the effort. Okay, so I'm thinking possibly farm fence. Uh, let's also try out a little a little stretch of park fence as well, maybe. That's the amusement park fence, isn't it? Okay. And then over here as well. So in terms of the fencing, that will run alongside the key. I've just got a whole vibe about farm fence at the minute. The little wooden vibe, I think, is very palavan, isn't it? Hope your new job is working great. I'm going to be looking this week. Going to be five for disability. That's very bad news, Grace. I'm sorry to hear that. But uh, I hope you find something soon. And all is well. Uh, yeah, the new job is intense. Very intense. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it's not bad. Thank you for asking. Okay, so... Classic repeated conifer spice. I think we have to we have to check out. Lara is a fan of the park fence. Mm, yeah, park fence does have a certain a certain uh, vibe to it, doesn't it? How about part fence and sugar maples? How do we feel about that? How about a nighttime look? Because these will silhouette against the light of the tracks. Amusement park, we don't see that very often. We don't see it very often, you're right. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm leaning park fence. In terms of the tree, repeated conifer is always a favourite. However, we usually associate that with the downtown, which we are very far away from right now. Look at that skyline now. Yes, please. <laughs> okay. Been watching your afternoon and programmed to farm fences in redwoods. Yeah, Baguzi had a lot of redwoods. There's very little in Palavan. I don't think there is any actually, is there? Maybe one or two, just to please the occasional person shouting up in the stream. <laughs> but yeah, um, I think we'll run with Park Fence. I think Park Fence is the favourite. Is it going to give us grief for trying to build a mortar in certain places? Yeah, it is, isn't it? Is that just where the terrain is a little weird? Let's see if we can push that out and fix it. This usually does fix it if you get that issue. Yeah, there we go. If you're getting don't build on water, it's just because the terrain underneath is a little bit janky with the key. Just push out with the level terrain and you'll be good. There we go. Yes, please. That was Spice Cat with a five US dollar super chat. Man City win on an extreme. This is a wonderful Sunday. Yeah, Man City did win. Thank you so much for the super chat, Spice Cat. I appreciate the support, mate. And uh, I'm glad it's qualified as a wonderful Sunday. Okay. Let's keep this fence going all the way down. Of course, the last little bit <laughs> is where we need to terraform. Just come through that level terrain again and push a little bit out. There we go. Okay. So in terms of the tree, I think sugar maples are quite understated. We could go something colourful as well. Or we could go repeated pattern. We could maybe throw in... I haven't seen a parliament pine in a while. 
Would Palaban Pines be too much? Maybe if we space them out further, let's try it. If we come in with, see what kind of, what intervals are we leaving on the fences here? Let's line it up. This is usually a good way to measure it without prop line tool. Um, okay, so let's leave kind of three fence posts in between each tree. And we'll place a few in and then just see how we feel with Palaban Pines in here. Hmm. I'm not sure. Is Palaban ever going to get helicopters as an option for public transport? Uh, yeah, it will. Probably in the airport episode. Yeah, we'll probably bring kind of air travel in one big episode, I think. What? The live streams are back. <laughs> hey, I am. Yes, they are. Welcome. Welcome. Yeah, is everyone feeling the pines? I don't know. How about night time up? Hmm. Blimp. <laughs> never. There will never be a blimp stop in Palavan. Okay, I think we're good with this then. Let's go with Palavan Pines. We don't usually use them in a repeated pattern. So we'll just kind of eyeball it here. Let's come down this side as well. I guess we could use the excuse, right? It's been... um. Like a little memorial cycle highway, so they've put some palaban pines down here as like decoration. Ah, oh, it doesn't look great. <laughs> it doesn't look great, does it? Oh no. <laughs> it's th there is something about a repeated palaban pine pattern that just doesn't quite sit right with me. It looks very. Unnatural, I think. <laughs> to see them in a line like this. You just have a blimp go with the football stadium? Maybe one day. Maybe one day. <laughs> mm. How about... Hold on. Let's try something here. If we went for sugar maple to sit at the front. So let's just throw in like a little tiny sample of sugar maple spice here. Just come in for like them. And then how about every other one we alternate a pile of and pine between them. Behind the metro. Is this going to look horrible? We'll see. Conifers would be great. Yeah. Conifers, I think I'm, I think I'm feeling them. Hmm. I don't mind the Palaban Pines in that kind of fashion actually, if we kind of alternate them between the middle. Conifers in between the metro and cycle highway. Hmm. Yeah, potentially. Let's try that. Let's try that. We might be a little stuck for... Ooh. Yeah, I think we've just figured out the pattern. We do sugar maples along the key in the fence. Conifers down the middle. Pines on the left. Yeah, I need the prop line tool for this. <laughs> this is going to take ages to do that pattern all the way along. Okay, we'll see if we like it first, and then if we do, um, I'll probably swing through with prop line tool. Okay, and then we'll alternate the pattern in between, and then at the back we'll throw in the palaban pines. But we'll leave the palaban pines to go every second sugar maple. Like that. So we see that kind of all on the river. Are we happy with this? Thoughts, feelings, and suggestions, everyone. Let's um throw up a little nighttime look as well. 
Oh, with the metros as well? Yes, please. Yeah, like that. Hmm. Yeah, I think that's what we'll go for. Yeah, absolutely. That's the pattern. I like that. And you can just feel it in your gut. That's the one. That's what we're after. Uh, okay, let's carry on with our fencing, shall we? Come on. Come on, terraforming. Be nice, it's only... it's Sunday. Okay. And then down to there. Come through that freeform tool again. Put these in. Everything's just like nice and curvy at the minute. Lovely. Very nice. Five flower beds between every tree. <laughs> Could you imagine? You know what? Someone shared a picture in the Discord uh, screenshot sharing channel the other day um, with an absolute ton of flower beds, and I was like, the absolute patience of a saint to sit there and place them like that. Like, without having to snap them in. It makes it a nightmare. Okay. Wait for our water to go away. Kidding? Yeah. <laughs> I thought you were, mate. I thought you were. Can I build a mortar? No, oh, come on. Let's push it out a little more from the key. Wait for the water to go away. Hey, over Chinese Egg, just discovered your channel. I love your vanilla layouts for CS noobs. Great work being the city building Bob Ross. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much, Matt. I'm glad you're enjoying the videos, mate. And uh, thank you for the support. Appreciate you stopping by on the live stream. Okay. Somebody shared a screenshot of a lovely puppy. Oh no. Oh, stock gold. I'll tell you what, man. In like, what has been a very weird couple of weeks. That was the <laughs> one of the few times I've nearly died laughing, man. When he's like, I went skiing today. <laughs> so I know you didn't. Oh no, terrible. <laughs> it's so funny. Uh, okay. Okay, I'm happy with this now, I think. I think I'm happy with this. Hi Egg, where have you been? Uh, I've just been really busy with real life, mate, and just kind of dealing with COVID and whatnot. But I'm uh, hoping to be back into a bit more of a normal schedule now. Okay. I think we'll, we'll we'll fill out one stretch of this pattern and then I will come through off camera with the prop line tool and finish it because this is going to take at least the next hour. <laughs> but then again, we are in a micro detailing stream, so I can justify it. Yeah. Does the galaxy map music put you in a loop in some kind of trance? It does. It's... um. I also find the Mass Effect soundtracks pair really well with like city skylines in general. There's just something about that kind of like trancey electronic stuff that's in Mass Effect that just goes really nicely with city skylines. Okay. So sugar maples don't look too bad at all. Uh, we need to figure out the repeating design with the conifers because I think if we do as many conifers as sugar maples, it'll look a little strange. So... What are your hopes for Mass Effect 4? Um, just don't be like Andromeda, basically. <laughs> yeah, just don't be Andromeda is kind of my criteria. Okay, so how about we alternate the conifer? 
every space and then the pine in the space that the conifer doesn't occupy. Is that going to be a pleasing pattern? Yeah, that's fine. Let's do that. Yeah, basically, as long as it's not Mass Effect Andromeda, I'll be happy with it. I would love to see a Mass Effect game that covers the first contact war with the Torians and the humans for any Mass Effect nerds in the chat. I think that'd be really good. Hi, your tram driver. How are you? Welcome to the stream. Found your channel a few weeks ago. First time catching a live stream. I'm only about 26 episodes into Lavender. But enjoying every minute so far. Well, I've never heard of Lavender before, but um... <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm taking the piss. <laughs> I'm assuming you mean Palavan, but thank you. I'm glad you're enjoying it. And uh, thanks for stopping by on the stream. I appreciate your support. Okay, and then let's come through. We have Palavan Pines here. There we go, interview done. Now to watch properly. Hope it went well, can I? Hope all is well. Was it correct? Yeah, I thought it was. <laughs> it's like, welcome to part 33 of Lavender, everyone. <laughs> I've never seen Skyline's build. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Yeah, I'm really happy with that. A little bit of inspiration for those still working on the Spice of the Month, maybe. How does it look from down here? There's a... They kind of get hit in the face with a couple of these, like, conifer leaves. And, like, conifer leaves are really harsh and rough as well, so I imagine that would hurt, but... I won't tell if you won't. Okay, I'm happy with that. Let's carry on. Okay. Right, let's take this one away. No casino with a five US dollar super chat. Next district. <laughs> Next district name is Lavenderven. Okay. <laughs> Welcome, Hoodie. I hope you don't mind already being memed by the Resident Casino. <laughs> but yeah, actually, do we have an unnamed district anywhere? Maybe somewhere with flowers. Um, I'm pretty sure we haven't named the Green Cities District, have we? Yeah, this is still Broad Heights. Okay, let's give it the Green, di the green Cities District then. Is that how we're spelling it? Lavenderven? There we go. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's all in good fun. We know casino. We know. Oh, no, don't do that. Okay. Found your channel a year ago. First live stream I've caught. Enjoying it? Good. I'm glad. Try to keep the live streams fairly chill and I think it's a nice way to kind of unwind from the week at the end of a Sunday, isn't it? Kind of sitting back, hanging out with people and Playing a little city skylines. I'm doing nice little therapeutic repeated tree patterns like this. <laughs> okay. So every other hole is the one that we're going into. If you are on PC and you want to do something like this, please just use the prop line tool. Makes it a thousand percent easier. Okay. And then our repeatable Palavan Pine pattern to flank alongside the Metro as well. Okay. How are we feeling? One no United, happy days, get in lads. Absolutely massive. Ollie's at the wheel. And Elizabeth Riley with a 10 US dollar super chat. <laughs> hope everyone is <laughs> hope everyone is having a lovely morning, afternoon, evening existence. Thank you so much, Elizabeth. Really appreciate the super chat, lovely. And I hope you are as well. Thank you so much. <laughs> Just like absolutely bigging up United. Why um people super chatting. 
Oh, I'm obsessed with looking down this side of the monorail here. Oh, the, the metro. I really like the overground metro texture with the orange between the tracks. I think it works very nicely. And let's see how people are picking up the cycle network over here now. Yeah, people are taking it from Dawson now too. This is very good news. Um, in which case, we need to tidy up the cycle highway on this side of Canalaban. Absolutely gutted about United. <sighs> Just get away, Spice Cat. <laughs> like, you're clearly going to win the league. Just let us have three points against probably one of the worst sides in the league. Apologies to anyone that doesn't like football, but um, welcome to the stream. Let's uh, tidy this one up here. And we'll do something a little fancier with the end of delete this bridge. Oh no, I deleted my canal. There we go, that's fine. Elizabeth Riley with another five US dollars. Beating Casino for Top Super Chat is the best money I've ever spent. <laughs> If you guys want to have super chat bidding wars, it's fine by me. <laughs> Thank you so much for the support, Elizabeth. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. You guys are very generous. Okay. Okay. So currently... Hmm... I'm just trying to figure out how I want to round out this end of Canal Oven. Let's have a look through some potential assets. Is there a school nearby? Yeah, they're over here, aren't they? We don't need two of them. I can buy more fairy lights? Yeah. <laughs> All super chats go direct to the fairy light funder these days. I will share my fairy lights with you guys once I've um, got them all in place. Maybe some part life. Feel free to shout out assets here, guys. Maybe like a little, maybe a little Japanese garden, a little, a little kind of custom-made Japanese garden, maybe using some of the colour trees. Let's try that idea. Let's bring my road down. And we'll place this in here. Hmm, I'm already regretting this combination. <laughs> Which is never a good sign, almost immediately after placing the first asset. Cherubex <laughs> launch site? Get out. <laughs> Get in mods. Well, the observation tower. Okay. Maybe bring it down to the river here. And let's start throwing down some nature reserve fencing. DM is here, everyone. Hey, DM. Second airport in the city would fit right into that area. You know what? If the airport people said that, I wouldn't be surprised. Airport people are relentless. So lots of straight edge shattered nature reserve fencing, I think. And then we'll come through with very random colour flower tree combinations. Jamal Taylor with a 10 US dollar super chat. Can the downtown square be named after the leader of the Torians, Adrian Victus from ME3, if it hasn't been named already? Absolutely it can. Of course it can. Thank you so much for the super chat, Jamal. Appreciate the support, buddy. And the enthusiasm for Mass Effect lore. That always goes a long way with me. <laughs> always goes a long way. Okay, and... Sugar Maples too. It's all very flat at the minute. Let's maybe bring in... A couple of these little bamboo, maybe. We never ever use the bamboo. Just a couple here and there. Some overgrowth maybe as well. And then... Almost open rock garden spice, if you will. 
Let's kind of tether it onto the back of the Japanese garden and then maybe bring like a little bench and picnic area down here up against the river. Maybe a nice blend into Canal of them, right? Okay, let's go and name the square in the. Um, I'm assuming you mean this one, right? The um, central downtown Cham Square. Um, it hasn't been named yet, but we can just easily name it here. Let me uh, throw up. Do you want it like Adrian Victor's Square? I think it has to be square, doesn't it? Because it's like. You know, it's a square. <laughs> Can't really justify it any more than that. Oh, guys, yeah, I've also been through and introduced um, some of those repeated pattern IT cluster spice we discovered that last episode. Man, the frame rate tanks in the downtown now. <laughs> Let's leave. Let's go back to where it's nice. Okay. And casino, <laughs> casino with a 20 US dollar super chat, Liz. Please don't start battles you can't win. I've been well trained in warfare from X Total War Discord streams. I definitely did not. A lighthouse. <laughs> I did not put a lighthouse at the end of that. <laughs> Thank you so much for the support, Casino. I really appreciate it, mate. And then, thanks for the bidding war with, uh, with Liz. <laughs> you guys are crazy. So I think we will throw in a main gate um, because I want some park assets in here. If anybody wants to name this little canal of park, now is the time to do so. Whilst we're live. How about a temple egg? It'd be too big for here, Jiba. Unfortunately, but I like you thinking. Do keep the ideas coming. Okay. So, part life assets. A little riverside gazebo. I think I could get on board with that. Maybe have a couple of them along here as well. This is a good place for a prison. <laughs> yeah, it would be. Um, and how about a little bit of repeated Imperator Spice? If we come through with lots of rocks like this, almost as like a... I can't remember what they're called. You see them on up along like seafront. So they called like breakwaters or something like that. Breakwaters? I've I've no idea. I have absolutely no idea. Pro Panther with a five US dollar super chat. Always always supporting Ozil. Thank you for making me a better builder. About time to come home. Thank you so much, Pro. I really appreciate the support, buddy. And uh, we do miss you in the Discord. Nice to have you back. Oh my word, can I with a 50 US dollar super sticker and it's a pair smashing a city apart. Insane, can I thank you so much. That is a very generous donation. I really appreciate the support. Thank you so much. You guys are very generous. And then Liz again with another five US dollar super chat. Casino, the real winner the real winner here is the friends we make along the way. It is, it is, isn't it? Thank you so much for the super chat, guys. It really does mean the world to me. Uh, you guys are helping pay for the decorating. <laughs> Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Okay, what do we think about this? Lots of rocks up against the water. In this kind of fashion. You guys are crazy. And there are dollar bills everywhere. Making it rain. Making it rain. Okay, so I think I have a, a vision for this in mind. Let's grab a nature reserve path. Okay. However, drawn from right to left, so we have the lights on the outside of the path. Okay. That might work well down by the fishing area, but not here. Mm, that's, a, that's a solid observation, Taters. And then let's throw in kind of a little bit of repeated waterfront gazebo spice. Hmm. Really miss you there, bud. 
wish you two Nomen. That is if you're speaking to me. <laughs> you might not be. In which case, I have still missed you nonetheless. Okay. And then... Let's have that in there. Campfires too. Oh, that's a good shout. We could use some of the nature reserve stuff here, actually. That is a very good shout indeed. Maybe replace them out for campfires. How do we feel about that? Some of the piers from the city park would work nicely here. You're right, Hogfather. Different gazebo. Let's try out gazebo number two. Um, just the one? Yeah, the green one. Mm, yeah, I'm not liking the rocks here. We will definitely do this though, maybe down by the ports. I think we'll just do fencing right here. Nature reserve. Okay, um, isn't there another campfire asset in the nature reserve stuff? Pretty sure there is. It's this one, isn't it? Yeah. This is like campfire and gazebo spice together. As well as the other one, alternate the pattern. Hmm. Are we potentially ignoring any other nature reserve assets? Oh yeah, there's these ones as well. Lean to shelter. Someone has opened up a can of worms. <laughs> We've now discovered nature reserve assets for the first time. It's been a long time since we built that nature reserve, to be fair. Mm. Okay. Someone called Little Sam listening to your live stream before he goes to bed instead of a story. We shout out to Little Sam. I hope you're uh, enjoying the live stream instead of having a story. I'm kind of leaning into the lean-to shelters, guys. I think we're going to take the gazebos away. We're going to take the gazebos away and run with the lean-to shelters instead. However, there is lean-to shelter number two. <laughs> Which is also a possibility. Yeah, I think I prefer this one, actually. It fills up more with that space nicely. Let's do that. Just come in here again as well. And then finally, again over here. Let's grab our path. And then, where do we want this to go? Over there. Okay. I think I'm enjoying this a little more now. Not that I wasn't at the beginning, but you know. <laughs> We've got to get into the rhythm, haven't we? Into the groove. Let's start to decorate it out with some larger rock assets here, maybe. And get a bigger one in here. Probably can. How's that going to fit in with the aesthetic? A pier. No, I don't want the piers here, I don't think. I want to keep it almost like a little nature camping ground. I guess we can try them, otherwise I'm just going to get crucified, aren't I? Let's try one of the part life piers, because I might actually love it. Uh, where are they? Yeah. So there's pier one, and then pier two. No casino with a tenuous style super chat. In West Philadelphia, born and raised on the playground is where I spent most of my days chilling out max and relaxing all cool and shooting some b-ball outside the school. Like, it's good to know casino. I did think you were from New York, but <laughs> thank you so much for the super chat, mate. I really appreciate it. I read that flawlessly as well. I didn't even slip up on one word then. <laughs> that was like perfect. <laughs> Never happens. Okay, where's Harry at? Come on, Harry, tell me what you think. I do actually kind of like this one. The one with the cover. I think that'll work nicely. Okay, let's go with the 
we'll take it away from the campsites then. The hell has happened to this pathway? Disappeared. <laughs> Fresh Prince of Palais, yeah. <laughs> I'll look forward to some memes in the Discord post stream. <laughs> Welcome to Sunday stream, everyone. It's nice to have them back, isn't it? <laughs> it's nice to have them back. We got two hundred and twenty-six of you wonderful people in the stream right now. Appreciate everyone's support tonight. Um, let's move this down here, and then we'll bring out a little pathway. Almost as like separate access, if you will. Kind of bringing a little curb around here, up to there. The front of the asset, maybe a couple of bushes here and around the front. Elizabeth Riley with a five dollar super chat. When a couple of guys who were up to no good started making trouble in my neighborhood, I got in one little fight and my mom got scared and said. You're moving with your auntie and uncle in Palaire. <laughs> People are just super chatting lyrics at me now. <laughs> Thank you so much for the super chat, Liz. Appreciate the support. <laughs> you guys, man. You do make me laugh. And the retired Mandalorian with a 22 Australian dollar super chat. Not to be left out from down under, Mando suggests the part should be called Super Chat Battle Park. I think that's quite apt, Mando. I think we'll go with that. <laughs> Appreciate everyone's unwavering support tonight. Oh man, I need to drink. <clears throat> you don't realise how much talking dries out your throat until you're sat here talking to yourself for an hour. <laughs> well, it gets really intense. Well, not intense, dry, I guess is the word, right? Uh, okay, let's grab the park. Hamilton Gardens. What are we calling it, Mando? Super Chat. Battle Park. Not Super Hot. <laughs> um, super Chat. There we go. Thank you so much for the Super Chats, guys. Really appreciate the support. It's very much appreciated. Okay. I'm happy with that pair there, I think. Let's continue. With our little... Little fence pattern here up against the river. I'm not building water. You actually can though because you're not even on water. Push out a little further here. Wait for the water to go away. Luxury Gaming did a 199 US dollar super chat. Name the park after whoever wins the chat battle. <laughs> I think we can go with that. I think we can do that. For Liz and Casino, you guys know what to do. <laughs> Not that you guys need a super chat, but it is, uh, it is very much appreciated when you do. Brings a warm smile to my face. Okay, let's carry on flushing out with our little little tree pattern here and I think we have to go with a repeated pattern design a repeated path design up against this one just come out a little further on the angle and then down to there yeah that should be okay uh, let's grab the dirt road for here or dirt path that's fine. Okay. Some larger conifer spice around the lean twos. Maybe two of each. Over in the corners like this. Scott Friedman with a 10 US dollar super chat in my for a post office. Thank you so much, mate. Really appreciate the support. What does that mean? Like you, you want a post office named after Scott Friedman? Or you just want a post office <laughs> for ten dollars? <laughs> you don't have to pay, you'll just ask. Really appreciate the support, mate. Thank you so much. Got to redraw to fix the lights. Oh yeah, it switches out, doesn't it? Excellent, excellent spot. 
Um, it's right to left, wasn't it? Uh, yes, it was. Okay, night time. Yeah, I don't mind that. I think it's all right. Does it matter the name? Do you just want a post office? Okay. It's actually a perfect place for a post office right here, so... No wish is my command. Thanks so much, Scott. Appreciate the support, buddy. Okay. I'm happy with this now. Just a little extension of the Japanese garden to sit along the back. That's also hooked into the cycle network here now as well, which is getting a ton of use. Let's uh, have a little chat and a nice viewpoint while I have a little drink and I catch up here. Um, where's the nature reserve? Here. Okay. Oh, mighty win with two five US dollar super chats. I had pulled up to the house about seven or eight and I yelled to Casino, your home, smell you later. I looked at my kingdom when I was finally there. Sit on my throne as the Prince of Palaire. <laughs> Thank you so much, Win. Appreciate the support, buddy. Really do, guys. Really do. <laughs> what a beautiful little stream tonight, everyone. 220 people. Really appreciate everyone turning up for a little bit of a little bit of Sunday action. You guys have been crazy generous with the super chats tonight. Thank you so much. <laughs> it's crazy. Beautiful city right there. It is, isn't it, Rich? It's there. It's come a long way. Now we need a Palais district. We do. Well, you know what? When we build the hillside suburb, it'll um, be like that kind of rich Beverly Hills kind of vibe. So we'll go for Palais, I think. Someone remind me in the comments of the episode to change it because I absolutely won't remember. But we can try. <laughs> Egg, why do you prioritise cycle paths over normal paths that support walking and cycling? Egg, well, the walking and cycle path is a workshop asset, which I don't use in the cities. Um, and the cycle paths, people will travel further distances than they will walking. Casino with the two US dollar super chat. Hi, I'm overcharged. Egg, and I'm a... <laughs> Does that count as a bait? I think that counts as a bait, right? <laughs> Casino. Can we make that like a bannable offence, I think? And I'm a United fan. Casino. <laughs> we don't talk about that filth here. I feel like all I've done tonight is read Super Chats out. You guys have been very generous. Thank you so much. Let's continue our cycle highway path design here. Okay. Sup, Egg? Sup, Jam? How's it going, buddy? How's it going? Casino knows about City. Impressive. <laughs> yes, Jafar. He only knows about it because of Spice Cat. That's literally the only reason why. Otherwise, he'd have no clue. Okay. What is going on with the budget? Um, the budget fluctuates due to stadiums and industrial areas and part life cheeses. So you see we're at about minus 7,000 then or something like that, was it? And then we're plus 7,000. Yeah, it's all to do with like the supply and demand and industry of uh, in industrial areas. And um, like stadiums and stuff like that. Stuff that brings in money. Uh, this one's a little off center, is it? It's that one. Wait, am I doing this right? Is this the right pattern? Yeah, every other tree, isn't it? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that mod lands told me that actually with the um the budget fluctuation. So you see now we're at like plus twenty grand. They kind of like they gets to a point in the game where you don't even really need to worry about your budget anymore especially with all the part life cheeses that we've got going on it just gets insane industries make so much money as well okay 
going through with Wait, these are every other one, aren't they? There we go. Fantastic. It's coming together now, this little side of the river, isn't it? How to make good looking cities on PS5? Um, I would say Palavan is a good looking city. The vast majority of it is replicatable on the consoles. Well, all of it, I think, actually. I think all of it is. You don't need to worry as long as you turn your taxes for high rises. Yeah, make sure you adjust your budgets. Because <laughs> I forgot to do that for about like 20 episodes and I was like, damn, I'm so broke. <laughs> like, Palavan isn't going to work. Palavan is not financially viable. But um, it was. I just adjusted my taxes and everything was fine. So now we make 25 grand again. <laughs> Okay. No one has mentioned Livecraft Mine in any of these wraps, and let's keep it that way. <laughs> okay, I'm happy with this now. This is um, this is really nice. I think it looks a lot better, doesn't it? You know, than just leaving it all wavy and curvy like we had it. Um, and I think we'll continue the pattern down to Dawson as well. Okay, fantastic. You just saw the stream on Biffa's community page? What, my stream? My stream is on Biffa's community page. Am I reading that right, Jafar? Is that what you're saying? No, we don't have our fence here, do we? Um, let's grab the fence. Um, actually, do we really need it? Mm. I'm inclined to say no. Because the pattern isn't equal all the way along here, is it? Well, he shared it over there. What, on like his Discord or his actual, like, base, on his YouTube community page? Hold on, let me check. I need to make sure. I'm assuming you mean in his Discord, right? He wouldn't have put it on his actual YouTube community page. Oh my god, he did as well. <laughs> Crazy. Thank you so much, Biffa. That's amazing. That is amazing. Crazy. <laughs> You're right, Jafar. I'm sorry for um for questioning you. Assalamu alaikum, my friend. <laughs> Hello, Egalicious. I missed you. I missed you too, Atom. How are you? Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the stream. That's crazy, man. Yo, Biffa, if you what did Biffa pop in and I missed him? I can't believe he put me on his community page. That's uh That's incredible. Thank you so much, Biffa, mate. He does pop by on the stream from time to time. It's very exciting when he does. <laughs> it's very exciting. Um okay, so we'll start from here again. Yeah. And then every other Cool. Fantastic. Let's bring it all down here. Glad I was able to catch a live stream. Found your channel about a week ago during a snowstorm here in Texas. I watched every episode in the series. I love this series. Thank you so much, King Hayes. I'm glad that you're enjoying the content, mate. There's been a lot of love for Palavin recently. The first episode hit like 140,000 views this week, which is insane. Absolutely insane. Okay, so the pattern will just kind of curve off and fade out here as we come towards the end of it. Love how we had a mild aggression to fix a park across the river. Now back to planting trees, yeah. <laughs> I need to actually keep my detailing and chill live streams as detailing and chill. Can we have a rest up on this highway? Yeah. Yeah, we can. Should we build it here? At the foot of the mountains? It's just before the interchange? Yeah. Build a little rest stop, shall we? I do like building rest stops. Might be able to use up one of the Japanese content create uniques in here as well, actually. 
I think the rest stuff will look really nice over there. It's this repeated pattern too. Okay. So. Um, what roads did we use for the other highway rest stop over here? Comes off with highway slip road and then just a box. Okay. Might be able to use the largest service station asset here actually. How big is it? Um, it's this one. Oh yeah, it's not that big actually. Yeah, okay. Let's use that one. That's fine. Uh, let's grab ourselves a little highway road. And all of our snapping. Let's know what's drawing the roads first of all. So... Let's go for... Is that too close? I think it should be alright. Okay, walk in. Let's actually delete this and remeasure it so we know how, how deep we are. Uh, let's do... 20 tiles. We'll have the service station up against one side. Right here. We need to terraform. Oh dear, yes we do need to terraform. Okay. <laughs> yes we do, that's awful. Okay, let's just push ourselves a big area out here. We will re-terraform the mountain, or this little hill. I don't think you can really qualify this as a mountain, right? Um, around the back of the rest stop as well, once we've got it in. Make it look a little more natural. There's some rocks in there too. Okay, so do 20 tiles. Let's grab in the slip. Bring a road immediately up. And then let's see where we want. Maybe right as they come into the service station. Biffle must be taking some lessons from me when it comes to decorating his cities. He's softening a lot of the harshness he used to build with. Good, I hope he's using the correct terminology as well. To be fair, I think that just on its own is like just a nice enough service station if we kind of draw in a boxed road around it and maybe don't put any car parks because it's already got them out the front and let's include some other assets with it let's come out by another group of 10 here um suggestions for assets guys we've used the road maintenance depot here before these work quite nicely with service stops what suggestions Please feel free to throw assets in for service stops in the chat. Oh, do you know what we even could do? You know how we did the little gazebo part next to this one? We could do something similar over in this new one, couldn't we? Got gas, petrol stations. Yeah, there is a petrol station asset, isn't there? Um, it's low density commercial. I'm pretty sure it grows as... a 4x3? Yeah, this one. Do a tunnel under the highway with a gazebo on the water side. Could get a gazebo here. Hmm. When Egg is asking about assets, he doesn't mean Starbucks and cat parks. <laughs> you know what? Even if you hadn't have tagged Nicole in that comment, I would have known who you were talking to. <laughs> Classic. Okay, so if we squeeze in. Squeezing two of these next to each other. And maybe behind as well. 
Okay, let's figure this out. I think I've got an idea of how I want to combine these assets together. Let's bring one here, and then we'll have two on that side. And then we'll leave another 4x3 distance so we can back them up onto each other. Like this, just a little... Mm, they don't look great repeated, do they? They don't look great repeated. And they really don't sit nicely next to the um, service station either. Wasn't this rest up building already placed? No, we haven't used this one yet. Hmm. What building is this? Um, this is a 4x3 low density asset. It has a chance to generate as a petrol station. Car wash? It has like, like petrol pumps here though, right? It's kind of like just a general service station, I think, isn't it? There's like petrol pumps here, a car wash, maybe like a little grocery store. Excuse my Americanisms. <laughs> Excuse my Americanism, but yeah, maybe just one row of them. Mm, yeah, I think I want to bring them closer to the road as well. Because <laughs> casino with a 10 US dollar super chat. Six years work here, Patrick. These are some drawings I've done. There's a helicopter, magnet, steals helicopter. He's got rockets on the helicopter. <laughs> He's got lasers on the front. <laughs> Get him, magnet, bang, I'm evil. I'm evil. <laughs> Never ever did I think I would be getting super chats from an American quote in Max and Paddy. <laughs> you know, you just think things that would never happen. That's uh, absolutely one of them. Thank you so much for the uh, super chat, Casino. Appreciate the support, mate. I'm also thinking, how about we do come through with some of our own car park spice and introduce um where is it come on car park here we go can we fit this in yes we can fantastic bring our own car parks in and then we'll look at some of like the fast food places like burger bite and stuff and fry guys yeah maybe like a backwater burger um a wine and liquor almost like a little food court you know <clears throat> Like in a service station in England, this would have like KFC and McDonald's in it and stuff. A pennies, yeah, the pennies asset would look good. Burger bite as well. Um, let's dig those assets out. What's this one? The Catfish Cafe? Yeah, let's have the Catfish Cafe in there as well. There's the burger bite. And is this the pennies? Oh, this is barbecue. I can't read that in the light. Heat and chili, does that say? Oh, heat and chill. Okay. It's like a little a little food court. It's really annoying we can't place assets on the corners of these roads. Yeah. What do we think? Okay. And then it can just slip back into the highway there. Let's throw in some very quick water for them. We're going to need a sewage treatment plant build soon as well. We'll probably make that part of the nuclear power plant build.
power. A couple of wind turbines up on this hill. I think they'll help decorate the hill out nicely as well, won't it? Needs a holiday in. Yeah. Is there any kind of like commercial asset that kind of looks like a a little hotel, a little motel, if you will, for our American viewers? Yeah, there is. There's literally one called the Starlight Hotel. How about that? Oh, okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Not here. Let's maybe take it... Mm. Let's bring out a separate road. And then maybe the hotel. And... Community pool. The pool is bigger than the hotel. I'm not saying like you know you would come to the highway rest stop for a swim. Like this would be kind of like a little bit rundown, like the place nobody wants to go to. You know, like oh, are we, do we have to stay there? Right, do we have to? <laughs> like kind of the pool was turned green from years of neglect. It's, it's almost perished. Put a hotel each side of the pool. It says 2C. Isn't there a bigger Art Deco hotel? Um, possibly. What actually about in the tourism buildings, the ones that we literally never ever use? Is that a little outdoor gym? Oh my word. Why have we not been decorating with these? What else is here? Oh, there's a pool. Okay, th this will work. This will work better than the community pool. That's kind of more of what I was going for. The outdoor gym. Yeah, outdoor gym spice. Everyone's just kind of... Like, gawped at that, haven't they? Like, oh. <laughs> why have we never used this before? What's this one? Swordfish, seafood, and grill. Man, I really need to pay attention to these. Oh, look at these little assets as well. We can use these to decorate like a beach. Like a beach walk. Repeated leisure asset spice, everyone. Welcome to the discovery. What else do we have? Oh, there's tiny little ones as well. You could pair these with, like, a park cafe. Like, little outdoor seating for the park cafe. You could totally do that. Hmm. <laughs> Endless possibilities there, isn't there? Yeah, I usually hate the tourism assets because 90% of the time you end up getting these ones in. Like, these awful-looking skyscrapers. I'm just not a fan. Like, they're not for me. However, oh, what about this one? No, not a huge fan of that, to be fair. Little beach restaurant. Hmm. <laughs> okay. There was all spawn of the district has tourism specialization. Yeah, absolutely will. I just never zone in their sizes. However, that's a great little discovery. Um, okay. Do we actually have any assets called hotel? Yes, we do. Central hotel. Costa del Sol. <laughs> He's like a kid at Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> Spice of the month coming. 
we could possibly see leisure assets come in as a spice of the month, maybe like a leisure district. Yeah, so these are the only two small hotels, the rest of them are... Put two hotels together, then the pool, then two hotels again. Okay. Let's try that. So we go for two hotels. And then just come into leisure. Two pools. And then two small hotels. I think what's throwing me off is the fact that there's just so much empty space behind it. I think if we start to terraform the mountain around the build a little bit now, we might just start seeing it look a little more organic. Just bring a little bit of it down here. I'm gonna, uh, of course, soften out some of these wicked edges where it gets right up against the uh, the assets here, so it's not quite as jagged. Finally, live stream. Live stream. I've missed you. Miss you too, Migs. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the stream. Hmm. I think, uh, maybe if we switch it so it faces out towards the highway, that would make me feel a little bit better. I think we'll try that. Okay, so let's check the distance here because that was basically perfect for what we needed it to be. 550. Okay, so let's come out by 550. And then we'll place them all in again. So it's two hotels. Yeah, let's just draw out the road for whatever we need it actually. Uh, don't forget to terraform either, because this will be all uneven. There we go. Fantastic. Okay. And then we'll grab our pools. Little two by twos. And then two more hotels. One pool. Hmm. Okay. Maybe I'll actually use one of those tourism assets that we've just discovered. One of those little, like, Verandas. How about a road along the side of the pool? We could back the pools up with each other. Then a hotel perpendicular. Might run them this way. One pool with a path on each side. Let's try the pathways actually. Um, let's go up pool. And then we'll grab. I'll come off the rear guide line. Hmm. Maybe a pool behind as well. How do we feel if we double up the pool asset? Yeah, okay, I'm kind of leaning into that a little more now. Path with trees. Mm. 
works very nicely with the palms from the amusement park path. Hmm. I kind of like it. You could easily make a very nice repeated pattern using this kind of block. Have it running for like multiple districts and see these repeated patterns. Outdoor gym instead of the second pool. Mm -hmm. Which one was it? I can't find it. Where's it gone? It was called gym, wasn't it? Oh yeah, there we go. Two by two gym. Hey Egg, how's you? I'm okay. AOC, how are you? What part of Palavan are we working on? Um, we're just designing a little rest stop to sit alongside this fancy new um, transport system. This block is getting a bit too cool for a rest stop. Yeah, you've got to argue that point, haven't you? You do have to argue that point. Hmm. No palms. Yeah, I think the palms are almost a little bit too exotic, aren't they? Maybe let's run with a little bit of zoo path. Not use the zoo path too much recently. Okay, I think I'm happy with that. We're spending too much time on this. And then let's mold our mountain around the road network and the rest of the build. And then we'll begin to build out with Some larger rocks. Mm, these are too big actually. Let's make a little bit of like a false cliff face first. And then we can tear up some of those larger rock assets, rock assets if we like. It would help if I could talk, man. My throat is absolutely drying out. Do we want the larger ones here? Let's make sure we're not murdering the build. Mm. Yeah, keep it small as we move around the corner. Maybe grab that little light like, shattered rock asset, this one. Set up along here. Okay. Okay. It wants decorating. Uh, let's come through with farm fence, I think. And we'll come in right in the middle here. Follow the straight sections of the first ruby placed. And then let's grab. A little bit of reform action as we come into these corners. Okay, and uh, maybe some repeated internal bush spice alongside that fence. And we'll just see how this begins to develop. I really need to stop pausing the game. It's a habit there. Does anyone else have that habit where you just pause while you're playing? I do it all the time. Water tower. Water tower would look good here, Mackie. You get the not enough workers area slides all the time. I'm pretty sure not enough workers is an indication of you need to expand your population. Like just get in more residents and the jobs will fill themselves out. Like I'm probably getting it now because my residential demand is through the roof, but... Who cares about residential builds, right? <laughs> There's airports to be done. Okay. Um, and then maybe some overgrowth as well, some trees around the back of this now. It's kind of all around the back of this. Let's just give it a little bit of a, a flower bed, if you will. And then maybe a couple of the occasional little tree spice around. Conifers in here as well. 
Okay, I think maybe we'll draw a border around the edge of this service station as well, using that farm fence. Can we come in here? No, but we can if we get finicky. Yeah, we can. Okay. Let's come in through here. Stick as tight to that rock asset as we can. Fantastic. And then we'll bring it through here as well. Let's take away a little bit of this overgrowth that we've literally just placed in. And then come to the angle and bring it down to the road. Okay. Okay. You could do a path over the top and some car parks on the other side, so both directions of the highway access to the stop. Yeah, that would be really nice, actually. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. How are we looking at night time now? Yeah, I'm happy with that. That service station serves as like a really nice centralized asset. This would look really nice mirrored, but um, it's a shame we can only place this once. Well, you know what we could do here is Let's play with the idea Should the main road Yeah we should have some kind of one way system in here actually Let's um Let's introduce that There we go Just so people flow around in the way they should Yeah we'll keep this one road all one way as well How about we run an intercity bus station on this side It's not really an efficient place to place an intercity bus station, but I think just for the aesthetic, we'll have to see how big they are because I don't want to start encroaching onto this pile of pine pattern here. Um, they are quite big. Let's try it out. Let's try it out. We'll snap to the road guy line of the highway. Mm, yeah, we've not got the room for it. Unless we tilted it on its side. Hold on, let's try that. No, we're just trying to squeeze a square shape into a round hole. If that's the same, like, I don't know if it is or not, it might be. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's not going to work. We could do the, the car park and, and path idea. Let's try it. Let's bring a path over. We'll see what we feel. Um, let's use one of the elevated university ones. See you later, Jiba. Thank you for stopping by. Appreciate your support. Now we brought it up here. Let's just move to our angle while we cross the highway. And then we can bring this down in some kind of fashion on this side. You know what? I'm not even sure if I want to do anything with the other side. I kind of like the way this rest stop just kind of looks out across this part of town. How about a train stop? Yes, the train line's coming through here. Yes, Silver Ice. Thank you so much <laughs> for reminding me that we do actually have a train station to run through this area. Yeah, let's do a train station here. Um, and then we can hook the train station into the cycle highway. 
Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Okay. Because the train light is going through here. Goal 3 1. United are winning 3 1, are they? Fantastic news. Okay. Let's come to our free farm. No. Where do we want it? No, we even need to make sure the train station fits. Yeah, it will. The train station should fit if we're going to do it this side. Let's just double check before I actually do this. And how does the terraforming get affected? <laughs> it's not too bad. I think I can live with that. We can live with it if we blend it, I think. If we push it out a little further each side. Because we'll need to for the rail to run anyway. And then just soften them out a little. The train station connection with the metro station. Mm, yeah. We could run a metro stop here as well. We could do. Let's focus on the train station for right now. Let's get trains coming in, because this line is feeding into the national line, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Okay. Which map is this? This is Murky Coast from the Campus DLC. Okay. Isn't there a hub? Uh, not for train and metro, I don't think, is there? Could be mistaken. Hmm, okay. Do I want the train as a bridge or tunnel it under the highway and bring it out this side? I don't know. Let's try both. Let's see how we feel. Um, let's come to road length here. And then we'll go out by 11 and then up by 3. Oh yes, I know which one you're on about. This one. Yeah, the train metro hub. Um, it, it'd be... Oh, that would be really nice though. <laughs> that would be nice. <laughs> It's just going to be a ball ache to fit in this space, isn't it? Yeah, it's massive. We'd have to rip out a lot of that stuff, but it would look good. But I don't know, though, because there's not a vast amount of reason for people to actually come to this part of town. It'd be interesting to see actually how many National Line trains stop at this point, because... I can't imagine the AI will get off here. Well, they do have good highway access, I guess, so they might. I don't know. We'll, we'll hook it in and we'll see how we feel. No, oh, come on, are you going to give me grief now trying to cross the highway? Hmm, yeah. It's because we're trying to cross over a curve, isn't it? Okay, let's just tunnel under. How about the intercity bus and metro hub? Yeah, that could work. Okay, let's bring ourselves a tunnel. So much easier. <laughs> and then let's tunnel underground. Okay, so this should be set up to receive intercity trains. That's great. And then. Let's add ourselves in a connection. We're also going to have some nice tiered transport spice in here now as well with the, the trains arriving. Uh, and I guess we'll... Because this train line will... Oh, I need to fix this road connection, don't I? I haven't done this yet. Oops. <laughs> Uh, we'll do that in a minute. I'm just trying to think where I want this train line to run. 
We've got 241 people. We really appreciate everyone stopping by for a little bit of Sunday City action. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Yo, Biffa sent me here. <laughs> We've just been talking about Biffa's shout out. Welcome, your dude, Caden. Appreciate you uh, stopping by. Keep it running parallel with the highway for the majority of the time, I think. This should give us some nice transport spice as well once we've got those trains coming in. Bad United 3 1 up. Happy days. Happy days, guys. That's what we like to hear, isn't it? <laughs> That's what we like to hear. Are you getting power? You should be, right? Yeah, we're connecting. Okay. So I kind of want to wait for an intercity train to arrive now. We'll, we'll see how. How things are going? Uh, yeah, Caden, we have a Discord if you're new. Uh, feel free to stop on by. The link is in the description. Or one of the the friendly mod team will uh, pass it over to you via a link in the live chat. But welcome. Appreciate you taking the time to check out my tiny little channel. What happened to the footbridge? Chill, Max. It'll bring it. We'll we'll, we'll, <laughs> we'll bring it back. But we'll make a return. Okay. It's really basic bush spice up against here. Okay. It's nice to see this map starting to get a little bit of love now. This part of the map, anyway. Yeah. Okay. So there's no opportunity for. Oh, the nearly is, isn't there? Okay. If we're going to have a footpath, it has to be symmetrical across in the highway. In which case, we want to bring the last road junction to about there. Is that sensible? And then we can bring it over here. The train station looks quite nice as an actual modern highway stop. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? It's got the car park. It's kind of the single building vibe going on. Yeah, I could get on board with that. Um, elevated train school path, maybe? What if we sink the highway just around the rest stop? Yeah, we could. We did a similar mod what we did in the modular build for a highway rest stop. We could do that. Sink the highway. Don't want to have enough room here to come down, am I? Yeah, that obviously looks ridiculous, but let me just see if anyone actually picks this up, because if it's going to be non-functional. It's a shame, you know, when you get these really tight angles, it's it should just turn to stairs that would be so much nicer i think um let's bring some of our classic zoo fence highway detailing into the equation through the middle and we'll see how we feel maybe a different tree Course compliance. <laughs> kind of looks like stairs. Yeah. Oh, there you go. There is someone using it. Are you going to take the train or drive? Okay, yeah, there's people going to, to wait for the train. Um, is he going to appear on the platform? Where are you going? He's going to the large playground. How the hell is he getting here via that train? Where? <laughs> He's traveling to like literally the other side of the map to Gwynalaban. This isn't. Hmm. 
Hmm. Link it into the cycle path? Yeah, we will do. We'll hook it into the cycle path here as well. I kind of really want to follow his journey. I'm really keen to know how he's getting there. Oh wait, he's changed it now. He's going to Park Plaza. Over in the outlying suburb. Or was that a different person? Oh yeah, there's loads of people here now. Bridge looks a bit high. Yeah. <laughs> it does. Um, I think we will. Apologies, guys. I just absolutely punched my microphone. <laughs> Apologies for that very loud disturbance. Rest in peace, headphone users. Yes, follow him, stalk him. Did I click on a different person? Park Plaza, basketball court, personal gym, tropical garden. Okay, here we go, here's a train. So this is now transporting passengers out of the city. Why have my sims gotten on there who were supposedly going to the park plazas? Is this the only way for them to get there? Like, take a train to another city just to jump on the other platform and take it back? Little train ride over Dawson Waterfront, yes please. Okay. Yeah, and then he's leaving the city. Very weird. Okay. How much room do we have to play with with bringing the psychopath up onto a ramp and into the into the rest stop? We can bring it out this way. And then begin to elevate with road length. Oh, it's going to be quite the elevation though, isn't it? To get it up and over the rail. In such a fashion. Mm. <laughs> it's okay. Um, let's bring it onto the grid here. And then we'll grab road guideline. Uh, no, not road guideline just yet. And now road guideline. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure about that one. We'll get into the back entrance of the station. Yes, taters. Yes. 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 <laughs> Why didn't I do that? That's a great idea. That's what we're after. Uh, okay, let's come off. Just road. That's a little better. We need to terraform that because that's like so dangerous. <laughs> that's so dangerous. We'll see if anybody picks that up though. How about underground? I tend to try to avoid underground where possible. I just like to see things move around. Is anyone going to use it? Mm, maybe. You've got 250 people. Welcome everyone. Welcome to the stream. It is definitely connected. I'll keep it slightly elevated until the last moment. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, we could do that. Create a suicide hotspot. Yeah, it is a little bit, isn't it? This is um. <laughs> this is a little bit precarious. Let's try and run with that idea. Of let's take the pollen pine away. So if we bring it to like there. And then have it here. Yeah, that's better. That's better. Maybe connect it in with the bridge on the river. Yeah, I guess it would make sense to bring it out from this point.
I would love to see, um... Oh, yes, there it is. <laughs> Lots of nice little transport spice developing around this area now all of a sudden, isn't there? But no one is picking up the cycleway. Not a single person wants to use it. Uh, we need to do the lane mathematics here as well, don't we? Uh, it's not necessary, but it'll look nice. Also allows us to be a little more freeform in our fencing too. Let's redraw this in now, and then we'll throw up a little fence, a little tree pattern next to it. And then we'll probably wrap things up because I need to go and have dinner. At 10 to 9. <laughs> Oops, it's okay. Hope everyone's had fun today on Sunday's stream. And uh, if anyone has joined from Biffa's channel, um, I really do appreciate you guys taking the time to come out and check out a small YouTuber. That's uh, very kind of you. And I hope you've enjoyed what you've seen as well. If you have, like below is always appreciated. <laughs> <laughs> Even if you haven't enjoyed it, please feel free to leave a dislike as well. Okay. And a little more here. What's for dinner? Pasta? It actually is Craig, yeah. I'm not even joking. <laughs> I made like um, a batch cut like a ragu. So I'm just going to boil some um, tagliatelle and have it with that. Post a picture in food envy if you want. <laughs> I'm from Biffa. Hey Jimmy, how's it going? When's the next live egg? Um, I'll do you another one midweek, I think. And now we're back into the rhythm of them. Yeah, nice little highway rest build now, isn't there? Hmm, yes please. Not bad. It's not finished, but we've made a start on it. But absolutely the highlight of the stream was the discovery of kind of this repeated pattern, right? Delicious. Really nice. Really nice. Rach is waking up now, I bet. Yeah, she won't be far behind. <laughs> We've done a little over two hours, so she'll she'll be due any minute. Okay, let's get a little a nighttime view and say our goodbyes, shall we? And uh should we go to the no, we've done the nature reserve twice tonight. Let's maybe go over here for one. Uh, actually, no. Let's go to the nature reserve. <laughs> I like the nature reserve, especially with this little rock in the foreground. Yes, please. There it is. Okay, guys, I'm going to wrap the stream up there. We've been live for two hours and four minutes. I want to thank you all so much for watching. If you've enjoyed yourself tonight, a like below is always appreciated. You can watch if you haven't enjoyed it. Please feel free to leave a dislike as well. Huge thank you again to Biffa for pushing the stream on his community tab. That's like really, really amazing. Thank you so much, buddy. And for everyone that has joined from Biffa, um, I hope you've had a nice time. Um, if you have, consider subscribing. And if you haven't, then thanks anyway. <laughs> oh, Simon McGee with a £5 super chat. Thanks for the stream, I thought it was time I got on the supers. Thank you so much, thank you so much Simon. I really appreciate it, mate. And um, You guys don't have the super chat. <laughs> don't feel like you have to. I really appreciate it, though. I really do. Yeah, thanks for watching everyone. Um, Taters, Harry, Sammy, Casino, Misty, 2C. Uh, you guys have been amazing. I hope you've enjoyed the return of the live streams. And um, we'll definitely have them back a little more frequently now as well. I will see you on Tuesday for the Palavan Airport build. That must be... Um, coming up. <laughs> I think. I'll, I'm going to plan it this week. And then we'll have it out Tuesday or Wednesday. Um, thanks for modding, Mod Nicole. Hope you've enjoyed your first YouTube modding session. Jane, Lans, and DM have been in and out. Thanks for your time tonight, guys. Appreciate you keeping everyone in line. But otherwise, I'm going to shut up and leave it there. Well, thank you all so much for watching. <laughs> and as always, enjoy the rest of your day. I'll see you guys on Tuesday. Bye.